Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and this is Colonization Season 2, Episode 1. In this first episode, we'll be establishing the settlement of the Bastion, a militaristic and territorial settlement in the mouth of the Western Cavern on the centre map. The first thing, of course, that we're going to build is the Guard Station. This will serve as a base of operations for the law enforcement within the city, and also a place to hold criminals securely. So, firstly, we need to lay our foundations. Here I set up two 4x6 base plates with a 2x2 corridor connecting them. I use metal flooring here with a consistent theme of both metal and bleached stone throughout this build. Next of course was the walls, I wasn't 100% sure at the time of building exactly where I wanted the windows and just in what style I wanted them, so instead I just built the walls up two tiles high around the base plate, sectioning off the main entrance room, airlock corridor and prison from each other, later adding of course doorways and doors in to do the windows later on in whatever style I've decided on. So after that I laid metal ceilings over part of the build. I knew I wanted an apex ceiling over at least part of the main entranceway and I also knew that I wanted a landing pad for a bird on top of the reception area which would be part of the main entranceway. I also knew that there would be another room above the prison area, thus I covered part of the main room, the airlock corridor and the entire prison top with metal ceilings, later building the walls up another two tiles high. I also placed an apex roof over part of the main entranceway, having to place a dividing wall underneath where the ceilings end to facilitate some sloped sides, something which actually worked quite well in separating the main lobby and the reception quarters for the guards. I also built an apex roof over the break room above the prison, this is just you know, a really simple peaked apex roof just with the partial one over the main entranceway. Next I headed back downstairs and built the land dino hangar which will hold, well, you can guess it, land dinos. I laid a base plate to fit these dinos in with the walls being designed to be about 4 tiles high to meet the dinosaur gateways I'll be using. I manually placed these gateways and then clipped the walls according to the base plate, creating perfect fit. I then placed fat, flat ceilings, <laughs> fat ceilings, <laughs> atop the walls so that I could place an apex ceiling later on without any weird behaviour from the sloped sides I'd use. The wall adjacent to the already pre-existing wall on the uh, landing pad above turned out to be quite difficult to place, so I just ended up removing the railing on the landing pad on this side and replacing it with the wall.
Finally, when the shell was done, I of course furnished the build and it was complete. I used white paint to bleach the stone on the build and left the metal untouched in terms of colour. This build uses tech power, hence the blue aura in the air. I thought, I thought this felt the glowing crystals of the cave quite well. I also used omnidirectional lamps within the build, creating a strong and harsh light within it, though you could change this if you liked. The main entrance is our lobby area where residents of the Bastion can wait to be seen or collect items for reception. Behind the door in the lobby we have a small storage area at the back of reception for, you know, paperwork, lost items and the such. The dino hanger is very simple, holding a feeding trough, a saber tooth and a thylacolio, two great animals for land travel due to their speed, agility and strength. Heading back through the reception to the prison, we pass the airlock and of course into the jail. A room holding four cells which each contain a bed and a toilet. The cells are one by two and separated by metal railings with of course a metal door. The windows of the cells are just window frames but with actual window panels in them, in contrast of course to the open long windows throughout the rest of the build. Upstairs is the break room, in the back left we have some storage lockers, we have some cooking equipment down the sides and of course storage for the food, and communal eating tables, this is where guards will spend their time when they're not on shift. Finally heading out the left side door of the break room we are on the landing pad, we have a very simple area to fit in an Argentavis or a Pteranodon, with a small expansion you'd be able to fit in a Quetzal but you know it's over here or there, it's really down to personal preference. The tech generator is also on the roof, providing power to the rest of the build and of course facilitating that blue aura. And there we have it, the guard post, the first structure of the Bastion, our settlement build for season 2 of the colonisation series. Thanks for watching, if you have enjoyed this video do go ahead and drop a like below and check out the channel whilst you're there. There are many ARC videos already uploaded with loads more to come including more of season 2 of colonisation, so don't forget to subscribe to make sure you never miss a video. Again thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.